Hello, everyone. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the Sunday of joy. It's the Sunday that we celebrate rejoicing around the Advent season. I pray that you're having a great Advent season and that you are preparing to welcome Jesus into the world and into your heart and into your life and into your soul. Hallelujah. So today we light the joy candle. So we already have the candle. Let's see here. Let's get around the wreath. Okay. So you can see it. So we already have the candle of hope lit, the candle of peace lit. And now I will light the candle of joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Amen. Got the joy of the Lord today. Hallelujah. I know sometimes things try to steal our joy, but we can't let it. Amen. Amen. So let us center ourselves. And I am going to read the Song of Mary. Let's read the Magnificat. It is written for us today in our lectionary readings. So let me pull that up, our lectionary readings. And it comes out of the gospel according to Luke, Luke chapter one. And it is verses 46b through 55. 46b through 55. When you have the word of God say, amen, amen. And it reads thusly, my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Yisrael, in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Rejoice, my friends. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. This is a song of joy. It's a song of Mary. It's a song that that talks about the great things that the Lord did for her. The Lord God, our father, Yahweh himself did for her when he used her to bring about the savior of the world. How grateful we are, how grateful for her yielding herself to the work of God. As we wait for him, this blessed season, as we wait for him during this Advent season and, and this on this week of joy. How was your week of peace? I hope that your week of peace was good. But this week of joy, as we go in, I pray that you will feel his presence and that you will find yourself rejoicing and feeling the joy of the Lord that is our strength. May your soul rejoice. May your lives be enriched evermore and those whom you come in contact, may they uh, also be enriched by encountering you and, and the presence of the Lord that you bring with you when you come into the room. Amen, amen. All right, well, God bless you. I'm looking at the candles here. We have the candle of hope lit. We have the candle of peace lit. The shalom of God, the irene of God. We have this candle of joy lit. And I pray that God will light even that fire and that set, set your heart aflame as well. Your insides, that you will burn with the love of God and with the joy of the Lord and with all um, that he is able to do for you. 
not just in this season, all the time but especially in this season as we prepare our hearts for the coming of Jesus, the Savior, his first and his second coming. So God bless you this time. Let's rest and let's stop together. Amen. Amen. Lord, we're so grateful for another time to rest and to stop. We're reminded that you are the one who uh, fills our hearts. You are the one who brings us joy and enlightenment. We pray that your spirit would give us wisdom and discernment, Lord. Um, as sometimes, Lord, it feels as though we are just um, shifted and shook. I guess that's a good word. We find ourselves shaken. But Lord, we know that we are not defeated, right? Press down, um, but we are not defeated, Lord. And we thank you for all that you do for us, all that you are uh, to us, and all who you are um, in our midst. And Lord, we pray that we would still have expectant hearts and we would still have um, great, great uh, expectations of the greatness that you will do for us in this season. And Lord, not to sound selfish, right? So it's not all about just what you can do for us, but Lord, even what can we do for you? What can we do for you this season? We praise you, we glorify you, we magnify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. Well, I will uh, see you all at the next rest stop. So I will not see you anymore this week. I won't be coming to you anymore this week. I've been, I've moved our rest stops to Sunday for Advent because I think it's nice that we can light the candles at the beginning of the week and move through the week. So God bless you as you come in. It might not be Sunday. It might be Monday or Wednesday, whatever day you find yourself here at the rest stop. I pray that the joy of the Lord will be your strength. And so until we see each other again, I will see you all at the next rest stop. Bye.